will not stay in the podium because I'm getting covered. <laughs> anyway, so my, I will talk about the lessons I learned from puzzles, math, and, math and code. And just, uh, so I, my name is Joy Paz, and you can, uh, that's my GitHub uh, username. Uh, I don't tweet, so you, uh, I have a Twitter account with that, but I don't use it. So I work for Quipper, which is an e-learning company, and uh, I work for their Philippine office. And so, let's start. I think there are two kinds of people, ones that enjoy puzzle and ones that see it as a great source of headache. And similarly, in math, some just play around with it, like this one, and no, math, for the other people, math stands as mental abuse to humans. <laughs> so, who belongs to the left side? Who belongs to the left side? A few people. How about to the right side? Wow. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so I will talk about, yeah, how my experiences affect me as a developer and no, this is not limited to knowing that the great ideas and algorithms come to you when you're taking a shower. <laughs> and so, when I was a child, of course, I had toys and I had dolls, but I enjoy playing with puzzles. And my dad used to create uh, handmade puzzles like the one below, so I really enjoyed. And from there, I learned that what seems impossible can be possible if you give your best. So sometimes, you know, how can this work? And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Fast forward to my schooling days, I could tolerate math, but I have generally have this attitude. So math, just solve your problems. And so, when math class is boring and other classes are boring, I doodle this on my notebooks in high school. And I was trying to find how a knight can cover the chessboard. I was doing it for weeks until I finally found the answer. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> However, Years later, in another math class, I discovered that this is actually a night's tour, and there are 19, about 19.6 quadrillion solutions. I only found about five. <laughs> so I was like, what the hell? <laughs> so yeah, I realized, oh, so math is like a puzzle. So I started to enjoy it. And fast forward, uh, uh, so this is the lesson that I learned from that stage. So you may not be the first one to arrive with the solution, but the fun of discovering things and the curiosity is very important. And fast forward, I became a math teacher in high school in the Philippines, and those are my students, and they are taller than me. <laughs> and. There came a point when I became so frustrated because no matter what I do, this is just so impossible. Uh, you cannot, you cannot uh, uh, make people love math. So uh, I consulted my mentor and she said that even if you don't make them like math, you will teach them these lessons. The three Ps, patience, persistence, and perseverance. So. Um, yeah, it's difficult, but uh, in solving a problem, you have to have these skills. And math slowly teaches us, even if we don't know about it, math teaches us this. So in conclusion, it, those lessons helped me becoming a web, web developer. So there were tricky bugs that uh, were hard to even reproduce or uh, track, but you know, uh, just be, just try and try. And we learn not to give up easily when trying to achieve a goal and look at different perspectives. This is not important, this is important not only in development, but also in business and dealing with people. You have to look at the, how the other person feels or 
how your customers will react. So maybe you like this thing, but other people doesn't like it. And value the learning process over the correct answer. And one very important thing, life is a puzzle. So, and math is a, like a big puzzle. So never ever tell your kids math is difficult because they will suffer in school. So, thank you. <laughs>